Hello everyone, we are going to see how to use AI in Dynamics 365 Business Center. So for that, first log in to your Dynamic Business Center, Dynamics 365 Business Center. If you go to this settings, okay, here it is the settings. You can find the option called Assisted Setup. Click that Assisted Setup, you will get this page. Okay. And once you get this place that just go and search for forecast like we have to set the forecast configure the forecast first so configure the cash flow forecast chart so click here it will ask you for the setup okay just click next so it will alert you if you have already set it up that will be deleted click s and by default it will fetch the uh, that is an account which is uh, related to that okay so these are all the thing by set up an account and forecast frequency and turn on or off prediction so these from uh, 2900 to 2990 okay so you can see these are all the uh, for these things we can just find the forecasting so here you can see how often would you like to update your cash flow forecast it is daily fine and you have to enable Azure AI so click next so it'll ask you whether it is a quarterly uh, monthly or accounting period or yearly okay how often must your company pay taxes so like this you have to set up and what is the payment window for paying your taxes for example if your payment window is 20 days please specify 20 days okay so i'm just specifying whatever is there 20 b and which type of account would you like to pay you can see general gl account okay and you can also see what is the number of account that you want to pay taxes so you can specify it here as well so click next so in the previous one i'm not specifying anything so what is the uh, number of account that you pay your taxes to if you're not uh, very clear about the accounts just leave it click next so it will ask you like that's finished shut up set up so click finish so it will show that working on it updating cash flow forecast so it is updating for all the uh, forecasting So you can see that cash flow forecast is default and it is updating for everything okay doing that it is completed before you have seen you can you might have seen that it is not checked now it is checked so now our setup is completed let us see how to view that go to the search and check cash flow pages okay so here you can see that cash flow forecast is here okay Be before you if you have checked for that it might not be there because we have just enabled it click here cash flow forecast you can see it is a default just click here default okay here you can see the cash flow statistics okay cash flow forecast statistics liquid funds receivable sales order everything you can see here and you can also see one of the options called cash flow forecast here if you click on the statistics you can see the statistics here so if you want to see what is the setup you have made cash flow you can see three options cash flow setup cash flow worksheet and cash flow forecast so click here cash flow setup so you can see what are the setup you have already made like daily which we have given while we uh, uh, configure and then for what are uh, the thing you have like accounts what are the uh, things you have you wanted as uh, ai that is uh, you have to predict it forecast it and then ashir ai the period is monthly if you wanted to um, make it as day wise you can do it and here by default it is like time series is arima method if you want to change this method like ets stl so we'll be if you want to know more about these method we will discuss that later so this is arima and um, historical period what is the variance and horizon everything they have given so if you want to change any setup you can change